Hi everybody, this is Atif. Welcome to our YouTube channel Engineering Drive. In my today's session, let me discuss with all of you variables in interfaces. What is the behavior of variable when we used in interface? We can use variables in class. It will show a normal behavior. We can use variables even in abstract class also. It will show normal behavior. But there is some difference when we use variable in interface. What is the difference? I will be discussing with this example program. So dear students, point number one that we need to concentrate based on this point, I will discuss this entire program. By default, variables in variables in interfaces or variables in interface are static and final. This is very very important point. Variables in interface are by default they are static and final. So whenever we are using variables in an interface by default they will be static and final in nature. What is the meaning of static first of all? Static variable is the thing but which we can't use which can't be accessed with the help of object. And a final variable is nothing but the variable's value cannot be changed when it is, once it is assigned. So once we assign the value to the variable, we can't change that value. This is final. So these are the two properties of a variable whenever the variable is declared in an interface. We know that in interface, we can make you, we can declare only abstract methods. So already I have told with, the, with an example program in my previous class that in interface contains only abstract methods. But along with abstract methods, can interface contains variables? Yes, interface can also contains variables. But what type of variables? What is the nature of those variables? The nature of those variables will be, they will be by default static, which means they cannot be accessed by the, with the help of objects. And the variables will be final, which means their value cannot be changed in the program. Now, I will show you this quality of what is the meaning of final now with this example program. So, dear students, this is an interface and what is the name of the interface I have taken? Marks. Now, in this interface, I want to declare three variables now. So, of int data type, int, first variable int internal for internal marks and I will assign the value 30. Next, int external is equal to 70 assignment operator 70 next int total is equal to 100 marks 100 now you can see here i have not declared any abstract methods in this interface because how to use methods already i have told in my previous class you can go ahead and watch that this is only i will show you the use of variables nature of variables in interfaces now so these are the three variables all these variables i have declared in this interface which interface marks. Now, what is the value of first variable internal 30, second variable external 70, third variable total 100. Now, whether I have used any final keyword before? No. Even though I have not used final keyword, what happened? By default, all these three variables will be static and as well as final now. Now, what I am doing next? Because only interface cannot do the job. Compulsory, we need to use a class and that class should implement this interface by using this implements keyword. We know that. So class detail implements marks. Now here I have declared, I have defined one method display. This method is a normal method which this class detail has implemented. So white display and in this I am displaying the marks. Which marks? Internal marks, external marks and total marks. You can see here. Internal marks is equal to plus internal. External marks is equal to plus external. Total marks is equal to plus total by using this variables. Three variables I want to display this marks. Internal marks, external marks, total marks. Now, let me save this program with this name interface 2java for that one class interface 2 and public static white band. And here I want to create an object for this class because we can't create object for interface. We know that. So that's why I have created an object for this class detail. Now, I want to invoke this method now. So d dot display. 
when i use d dot display automatically control will come to this display method and this three lines will come as the output what are those three lines sir? internal marks is equal to plus internal what's the value of internal 30 internal marks is equal to 30 external marks is equal to 70 total marks is equal to 100 clear no error there is no problem but when the problem will come you know when you try to change this value of interface variables for example three variables are there now we are not having any error we will get three lines output no problem but i am doing one small change now what is that small change i let me take here that same variable internal internal and i am assigning the value 20 now only one change i have done in the program this internal variable already value is assigned 30 but i want to change the value i want to reassign reassign the value now to the internal variable what is the new value of assigned 20 now in this circumstances when we run and when we compile and execute our java program immediately we will get the error what error final variable cannot be reassigned or final variable cannot be changed the value of a final variable cannot be changed sir we have not declared the variable as final no we can change the value yes we have not declared the variable as final but automatically i told on this point by default the variables in interfaces are final so we can't change the value of the interface variables so once the value is assigned the value will become fixed in interface this is how our variables behaves in interfaces so dear students if we try to reassign the value we will get error so that's why once the value is assigned to the variables in interface it will remain fixed so with this, let me close my today's session of video. See you soon, everybody. Take care. Allah Hafiz.